Hey, my name is Nick and today I'll be talking about what I choose to spend the majority of my money on. And I'm not saying that this is a plan that you must follow, but this is just what I'm choosing to do so far. And more importantly, what I'm getting into the habit of doing so that I can build up for success later in the future. So although we might get pocket money at a young age, even though it's not a lot, saving still is an important factor that if not emphasized, can lead to bad habits later in the future. And even small savings can accumulate over time into something that's much greater than what would have been first expected. And this surprise can come in handy when you encounter a rough spot in your life and you need that extra money to help out as it gives a bit of a safety net to fall back on. All right, that quickly was just about saving. But the other thing that I'm putting my money towards is investing in self-education online. Now, the value that you get back from spending this money online is partly tied to you and the source you're getting it from but overall most sites online are good starting points to learning valuable skills now these skills hold more value in the future than what they are right now but nevertheless it's important to still foster those skills now although these skills aren't directly tied to being fun the fact that these are long term means that they are much more beneficial than spending this money on something else more pleasurable like getting a treat or something where it will only last last for a short period of time. Now this spending on instant gratifications may seem small as a lot of the things that are fun are reasonably cheap. But over the long term, this will accumulate and add up. And of course, you'll never really realize how much money you've spent on these small things until much later in the future, you find that you've lost that safety net that we talked about earlier. Whereas if you'd simply save, there is a higher level of instant gratification in learning that you are not in a stint and that you still have that safety financially. And not only that, but if you also are putting aside money for self-education, that skill set that you give yourself lends to opportunities that are much more fulfilling and gratifying than, than small pleasures. And of course, you may find that although you are saving money and putting it into things that are giving you more valuable skills than the money itself, you may think that you're still spending money that you'd want to keep or putting it away rather than accumulating wealth. But of course, if you're learning these valuable skills, the value in those skills will pay off in future jobs where that skill is valued by line of work that you are in. And this is shown in most successful people who instead of spending their money on little things, they have saved it, learnt new things, new skills, and then put that money into that and accumulated more wealth than they would have before. These people would have also set a strong foundation financially early on in their life to build upon it in the future once those skills come in handy. So now that you're aware of all these good things that comes from saving. What are some ways to do it? And actually all their ways are pretty simple and easy. First off with budgeting, you stay aware of where your money is going and being conscious of that will help stop you from spending money unnecessarily on things that crop up in the moment. Now with that money you've saved, not only can it go towards books, but also a lot of things online, which I'll go into further on a later video and help you learn new and useful skills, as well as workshops online. Now, when you are young, you more want to emphasize the practice and habit of this rather than the amount of money you are actively putting in. But it is good to note that once you do start gaining more income, your savings should grow to accommodate that as well to preserve it. But before we start thinking about how to start ramping up the amount of money we're putting into the savings, it's always best to just start small now and dabble into the self-education aspects for greater value through learning new skills. This will also stop giving way to small spendings on quick fix fun that will soon add up and hurt you financially. So without these little expenses, you can really start building a strong financial foundation to accelerate off of in the future. And this will all come down to budgeting and saving up for means other than simply having fun. All right. That wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Sorry, there's been a bit of a hiatus, but I'm hoping to release a lot of videos in bulk after I record them in batches. Here's some videos. Thanks for watching. And also to that one person, thanks to subscribing, as well as the one other person who liked the first video. And yeah, I'll see you later.